This is Afternoon Sports Slay with the Queen, Micah K. Now, remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game, okay? Now, let's get into it. This top rank boxing match, okay? It was boxing Tuesday night on ESPN. Mike Plania versus Joshua Greer, okay? Round one was instantly, it had you on the edge of your seat. Now, if you're a boxing fan, you know it brung the juice instantly because Mike knocked down okay joshua halfway through the first round with a left hook so it was crazy it was crazy y'all know it was crazy the juice was there all right now rounds one through six mike dominated that fight definitely dominated i like how he utilized the ring i like you know his leg movement it was looking real nice now what joshua needed to do was he needed to take more risk and let his hands go more okay definitely i would have definitely loved to see him do more combos now let's get into round six round six mike kept going at the body okay mike was very aggressive Mike hit Joshua with very powerful body shots, okay? Now, Greer, he kept dropping his right hand. Mike dropped him again with the left hand, with the left, excuse me, with the left hook. And it, it was real quick. It was like a whipping punch, okay? That's what the commentator said as well. Now, round seven is when Joshua began to, you know, make his comeback somewhat. Now, Joshua punches really wasn't affecting Mike like that. Now, round eight was Joshua's best round throughout the whole fight. He had excellent uppercuts and, you know, just nice combos. His stamina was there. His energy was nice. And round nine is when Joshua began to take even more more control and you could tell he was ready he was amped up now Mikey was getting tired now that's one thing now that's one thing you could say let me stop saying Mikey Mike Mike was getting tired now that's one thing you could say about Mike maybe as far as you know what a weakness can he last in those later rounds okay so another thing I would like to say is heads off to Joshua because Listen, he showed excellent heart. Some fighters would have gave out, gave up after those two knockdowns. But he kept coming, and he did not give up, okay? Listen, now, round 10, Mikey was still tired, but you could tell he's still a very smart fighter how he even handled round 10 by turning his opponent around certain things how he utilized the how he utilized the ring in round 10 now a thing that i would have to say is joshua made his adjustments just a little bit too late okay definitely needed to make adjustments you know earlier on really within that round five or maybe even earlier i want to say uh, like around rounds three or four so well-deserved win for Mike. He definitely deserved it. He showed he was really, really confident and very well prepared. Now, I really want to see more from both of them because I would like to see, you know, how Joshua is going to bounce back from this loss. And I want to see more from Mike because he looked real good tonight, especially in those beginning rounds. Now, Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts, especially all my Slayers and Slayettes. Now, if you're new to my channel, okay, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And always remember, to all my people out there, I'm doing this for the love of the game. It's definitely going to be more content on the way. I promise you. Make sure you tap in. This is the Queen Micah K. This is Afternoon Sports Slay.